Hey everyone, soap video. Um, so my hope is that I'm going to do this video for uh, Amy's soap challenge for the month of September, which is a a, um, a gradient soap. So having different layers of color and having them transition into each other. So the the let's go over the recipe. So here I have uh, 12 ounces of olive oil pomace, 14 ounces of castor oil, 12 ounces of 76 degree coconut oil, 10 ounces of shea butter, uh, 18.25 ounces of water, and 6.5 ounces of lye. Um, for the challenge, um, they suggested using three colors so that are kind of close on the color wheel. Uh, and so I just got some new colors in from Celestial Colors, so I'm going to be using those. Um, so I'm going to be using Seafoam, Royal Blue, and Muscadine, or Green, Blue, and Purple, basically. Um, I'm going to be scenting this with a combination of fragrances. Um, this is uh, Peppermint. Uh, cashmere and silk, and sensual amber. And I just have my own sort of mix of those. Um, it smells, um, I don't know, it's a very unusual fragrance. I really like it. It's, uh, I don't know how to describe it though. It's sort of fresh, but yet kind of mysterious and has just sort of this soft quality to it. Um, it's really hard to describe, but I really like this mixture. So, um, anyway, okay. So now for the, the gradient swirl, what we have to do is three colors. Um, so I don't know if you can see, I have all my things lined up back here. I can kind of go like that for a little bit. So I have all my containers lined up. Um, so one color will start here. The other color will be here, and the final color will be over here. And so what we'll do is mix up the three primary colors, or the three colors I'm using. Then you take kind of a lot of this one and pour it in here, and a little of this one and pour it in here. Then you do the same. A lot of this one, pour it in here, and a little of this one and put it in here. A lot of this one, put it in here. A little of this one, put it in here a lot of this one, put it in here, and a little of this one, put it in here, right? And that gives you the different gradients. And the reason I have this one is I plan to top it with a little white. So um, Amy on her blog has, or on the, the challenge, has a good tutorial that actually gives amounts and things. And um, I'm just gonna kind of wing it, we'll see. Um, and just sort of eyeball the amounts. Um, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Uh, like I said, I hope this is for, you know, the challenge and it comes out really well, but um, we'll see. Uh, and then I have some mica in some oil to do a little bit of um, swirling on the top. And um, I might try to do a little bit of a pencil line between the last layer and the white as well with some purple glitter. And what else? Oh, and I have a vanilla stabilizer that I'm going to actually add just a little bit in. Um, I haven't worked with these fragrances and I don't know if they morph or anything, but hopefully that will help things get stay the same colors. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Okay. Um, I did check the temperature of my oils before I started. My oil was 85 and my lye water was 95. I think 
we're very close. I'm going to add my fragrances. Good. Yes, we're looking very good. Okay, so here we go with colors. So the most kind of needs to go in here because I need to divide it up the most. And then a good amount for white on top. So, all right, so sea foam, we'll start over here, then royal blue, and muscadine, and we're going to mix those up. I guess I can bring this over into the camera actually so you can see. Okay, so I'm just trying to make sure it gets all nice and incorporated so I don't have any streaks. And that looks good. Okay, so that's sea foam. This is royal blue. Ooh, that's blue, all right. That is fairly purple, actually. Ugh. I hope this works out okay. I may try to lighten that up a little bit. Okay, so that is royal blue. We'll have to see what this purple turns out to be, this muscadine which should be a nice dark purple. Okay, I think that will be a good color distinction there between the royal blue and the muscadine. Lighten up that royal blue just a touch.
Okay. That should be good. So, all right, so I have my colors, my seafoam royal blue, which is actually very purple. Maybe I added too much of the dye. And, uh, and the muscadine. Let me just mix up my white while I have it in here. Okay. All right, so let's do the gradients. Okay, so. I want the green, I want kind of a lot in here, and then a little, and sort of the opposite of the royal blue. A lot in here, and then a little. A lot in here, and then a little. A lot in here and a little. Okay. And then we mix. We get this new shot here a little bit. Okay. So ideally, you'd have equal amounts of each of the layers. So, so far I'm feeling pretty good. I'm going to get all these in here. Okay, and then that's a straight color. And then we mix this. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look here. So this is my starting, um, oh, sorry, wait, this is my starting. So sea foam, then a lot of the sea foam and a little of the royal blue, then a little of the sea foam and a lot of the royal blue, then just the royal blue, then a lot of the royal blue and a little of the muscadine, a lot of the muscadine and a little of the royal blue, and then finally just the muscadine. Okay, so we have them uh, ready to go. Now let's let, don't let me mess up my colors here. All right, so into the molds. All right, starting with sea foam. And uh, it's still pretty loose, but it's starting to thicken up, which is actually good right now because I think that will help the layers stay nice and sort of distinct.
So it's definitely a little thick, or thicker, I should say. It's still very workable, but I think it's a good, it's a good consistency um, for doing these layers. Although by the end, uh, it may be a little thicker than I want, we'll see. All right, I'm just sort of smoothing it out. Let me get back into the shot here. I'm just sort of smoothing it out with my spatula. Okay. I'm making all kinds of a mess here today, though. So on to the next color. So it's it's decently thick now that I don't really have to be super careful about putting it on the layer below unless I, you know, really put some force into it. I'd I'd break through the layer, but otherwise. And so this is going to be the next several layers. So I'm going to do the same thing. If you want to fast forward, this may be a little bit boring. Um, I have seen other YouTubers fast forward their videos. Like, so when you're watching, it, it automatically fast forwards. Which I would do. Um, I think some people, I, I don't know, when I was first learning soap videos, I kind of wanted to watch the whole thing, so a lot of them I wouldn't have wanted to um, fast forward through, although that is not my primary reason. I don't know how to do that on my videos, <laughs> so, um, so that is primarily why I don't do it. Okay. All right, this is just the royal blue. So we've reached sort of the middle layer. And it's definitely thickening up, but it's still pretty workable. Okay. 
Okay. Um, I think one of the biggest challenges for this soap or this challenge is getting the layers very even. Um, I think I did pretty good. That one layer, I think it was number three, no, two, um, was a little bit short. It was a little bit thinner, I think, than the other ones, but so far, it's not bad. Now, I think I might get a clean spatula here. Let me get this first. I have some on the side here. I don't want to mess up my layers. And then <clears throat> Alright, on to layer five, I think we're at. Alright, so we're definitely thickening up some, so I guess I should move along. Although, this is actually making it a little bit easier to work with. For a layered soap, this thickening up actually is kind of helpful. Okay. This is a, a little, my hands are a little slippery, so it's getting hard to pick up. I'm just cleaning up the sides here a little bit. All right, next one. Alright, I got this, this layer is a little short too, um, 
meaning it's not quite as much as I think some of the other layers, but I think it's plenty to do, you know, a nice a, a layer, a very noticeable layer in the soap. But it's a little bit in volume, not quite as much. Okay, last layer. This is the muscadine, which is very thick right now. So I'm going to give it a little swirl, a little stir. Make it up a little bit here. Okay. Okay, so almost finished with the color layers. Okay. So I'm going to do a little bit of a, or I'm going to try to at least, do a little bit of a, well, a pencil line. I'm going to use glitter, though. Um, so this is some purple glitter. Okay, all right, and then finally, the white, which is also very thick right now. I'm going to give that a little stir.
Okay. Sorry, I'm not talking a whole lot. There's not, I don't know, I don't have a whole lot to say on this. I'm sort of concentrating, so. Uh, I'm going to spread this out. Um, I'm not going to be super worried about getting it even because I'm going to do um, a textured top. And so I just want to make sure I get to the sides here and kind of make it even. Ooh, darn it. Okay, this is a good texture to do, I mean this is a good consistency to do a textured top. So I just want to make sure my, you know, I don't have too much soap on one side or in the middle or anything. Okay. So let's get this a little more even here. Okay. All right, so let's get my spoon and And then we just sort of play with it until it looks good and has sort of, you know, visual interest. And I'm just sort of dipping my spoon in and pulling it up and giving little peaks and valleys. Okay, I think that's good. And then uh, I'm gonna put this in my box um, because the sides are kind of bowing out and I wanna try to prevent that a little bit. So it makes it easier to to move. Okay, good. I think uh, I think I want to play with the top a little bit more. <laughs> um, it's very thick now, so I could do lots of. sort of deep valleys and peaks. Okay, I think that's good. All right, so now I'm gonna do a little um, mica oil on the top. So I have gold, um, pale blue, and pink. These are from the conservatory. Um, and the pale blue isn't called pale blue. I don't know what the actual name is.
Um, when I do these, I kind of like to follow the crests of some of my soap peaks. Or the valleys, fill in the valleys, sort of. Okay, and I'm going to switch to my blue. Okay, and now pink. Um, I need a good name for this. The purples and the greens and the scent. I'm not really sure. The scent is so kind of unique. Um, I don't know. Nothing really comes to mind right now. So I'm going to have to think about it. Um, I really like this pink mica. It's very pretty. Uh, I'm going to add a little glitter on top here, and I might go back with some more gold, I think.
Well, maybe not. Okay. All right. Um, I think I'm going to put a little bit of glitter on it, and that's about it. Uh, and then I'm going to call this done. So I might call it something like Southwestern Sky. I'll have to see what it looks like, but... Um, But, uh, that's good. Okay, thanks for watching. After the break should be the cut. Bye now. Okay, everyone, so we're here to cut uh, my gradient soap. So I've un I just unmolded it. It was in the fridge overnight. It's been about, oh, let's see, maybe 16 hours or so. Um, but it seems nice and firm, and the sides pulled away okay. Um, it's still a little bit, you know, um, soft here, but you can see like I definitely, it sort of, it definitely gelled, which is unfortunate. I put it in the fridge, um, and I have a few, I have a fair amount of air bubbles, at least on the side here, and I think that's because I was doing all the different layers and started, anyway, so, all right. It's cutting very nicely. I am disappointed about the gel. I guess, I don't know, I've been, I didn't, the temperature was not real high when I soaked. It was like right around 90. Um, so, oh well. All right, let's start on this, the end here. Oh, that came out pretty nice, actually, the gradient. Um, so we had sea foam on the bottom, uh, royal blue, which to me is really kind of purple, and then muscadine was on top. I did try to do that sort of purple glitter pencil line, which I don't really see. Um, oh, and the top. The top is nice, it's pretty. Now this one looks more blue in the middle. Um, and, you know, I find that after I cut them, sometimes the color will sort of continue to change. So I'm going to wait a day or two before I <clears throat> um, try to look at the colors for the final. Now that looks good. Now there's, it's sort of all, I don't have that circle in the middle. It seems like the ends got it. But, so that has a much more sort of complete look to it. And I, I do, I like the gradient. I think it's pretty cool looking. So these should all be very similar. Hmm. The the fragrance is very it's a very mild fragrance. It's nice. It <clears throat> I I think it's definitely lost some of I get a little bit just a tiny bit of the peppermint. And then there's just this very nice sort of mellow scent behind it. Um, so it's a, I would call it like a very lightly fragranced um, soap. There we go. Okay. So these all look pretty good. I'm pretty happy. Um, I might do another one though. This color combination is nice, but um, I don't know, it's not super dramatic or anything. And 
I might do another one for the actual submission to the challenge for Amy's soap challenge, but this is a pretty soap. Okay, uh, last piece here. Oh, that definitely does, does not look great. But I'll see how the... Well, it's interesting to see the non-gelled color difference. Um, the non-gelled, that seafoam is much more what I thought it would be. Like this very sort of pale green with a little bit of blue in it. Um, the royal blue ungelled looks very purple, but the muscadine looks very pink, um, you know, opposed to the gelled versions of them. So that's interesting. So I'll see how they sort of change again as the soap continues to cure. Okay, so that's it. Questions, comments, leave them below. If you like it, subscribe. Thanks very much for watching, and check back for more soap videos. Talk to y'all later. Bye.